So of all the buildings abandoned after Hurricane Katrina, the old Lindy Boggs Medical Center is one of the most noticeable. It is, and now it's on the market again, and Rachel Handley is joining us in the studio with the latest on it. Rachel, that building has changed hands a lot. It has, and every new developer has come in with big plans for it. One by one, they've all failed. This time, the owners of the building say they're still not giving up on it, but it's time to explore other options. As Mid-City tries to move on from Katrina, the former Lindy Boggs Medical Center keeps dragging it back into the past. If they tore it down, it wouldn't break my heart. Now another developer is hanging a for sale sign on the crumbling building. It's really a, um, a backup plan. Bill Hoffman and Paul Flower bought the site in 2021. The plan was to turn it into an elder care center. Hoffman says they haven't been able to secure the federal funding that they need. The major hurdle is the fact that the building sits in a flood zone. He tells us he and Flower are still trying to get that funding, but if they can't, the sale could mean a better future for the building. We don't want to get a year from now, and we haven't gotten the HUD financing, and still have a blighted property sitting in our neighborhood. Lindy Boggs has been vacant for almost 18 years. It was owned by Tenet Healthcare when Katrina hit. When the levees broke, the basement flooded and the generators failed. 45 people died. And I want to be very clear about this. Uh, Tenet is here in this market. We have always been in this market and we will continue to be in this market. The building was sold two years later. That developer wanted to make it into a food retailer. The next one, a cardiovascular unit then a memory center. And as all those big promises were broken, the building itself just broke down. The people who live and work in its shadow have watched it happen. They have fires in there every once in a while. Yeah. They have people damaging the property more so than what it's already damaged. This year, the city valued the site at $3.2 million. Of course, it will take much more than that to fix it up. If, if it were to sell, a new developer may come in with one deeper pockets. And whether a new developer decides to start from scratch or revamp the building, those who see it every day just hope something will happen. The neighborhood is coming up. We need everybody to help, you know? I checked out the listing to see how the real estate company is trying to market the building. It tells buyers the building is in a prime location. It also says the zoning is really flexible, which means it could be turned into a lot of different things. Guys? All right.